Welcome back to the Lower Mainland. It is Canadian Premier League action right around the corner. It is the start of week 11. The expansion team, Vancouver FC, against the three times CPL champions Forge. Vancouver FC, four changes from the team beaten at the weekend. Ibrahim Bakari, Mile Henri, TJ Tahid, the 16 year old, and Imea Kinani. Bobby Spermiotis, the Forge FC coach, makes three changes from the team beaten at Bala last Friday. In the midfield, the combative Abu Sissoko. Karim Kay makes his first start of the season. Couldn't quite get there, it'll break for Becker. Poku. Chipped forward, that's clever from Becker. Poku's brought himself some time to cross the ball. And Campbell was lurking with it and Schwabier. Off the upright, I believe. And I reckon the captain's going to pull rank here. But you never quite know. Back up. Oh, off the post. And it didn't go in. The goal's off extensions. Irving made a wonderful save. Samuel couldn't quite follow up. And I'm not quite sure how that stayed out of the back of the net. This is brilliantly struck by Kyle Becker. Chipping it for good ball. Sissoko might be in behind here. Sissoko! Oh, after good work again! Goodness me! Three times! And Sissoko is wondering how he didn't score. He was not on one with Irving. But the frame of the goal denied him. Forge uh, hit the upright. All the crossbar, the frame of the goal, if you like. Still the ball won't go in. Starting to think about black caps, Oli. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the other end, Bakari. Bita. That's a lead. Is he onside? You bet he is. Would you believe it? The 16 year old out of nothing has got Vancouver FC the lead with 10 minutes to go to half time. Stuck in unmarked and slid it past Henry for his second goal of the season. And Vancouver FC lead the champions by a goal to nil. Well, if you're a Forge fan, you're in absolute disbelief for that. TJ Tahid, if you haven't seen him play, he's rapidly making a name for himself in the Canadian Premier League. And this score in league history. Oh, and they're giving it away again now. Oh my goodness, Kanani got the score, surely. Kanani, he can't miss. What a mess. Oh my goodness, it's going from bad to worse for Forge. Another horror show defensively. It's two and four minutes. Henry is in despair. The home fans are in delight. And Vancouver FC lead the champions by two goals to nil. And it's the champions with all their experience who are making all of the simple individual errors here. This is just a completely broken play. It's Kadeem Kane, the youngster, to be fair, who just shows that little bit of an experience with a very, very loose pass. First half for Forge dominate. Bitar's getting his jersey pulled. Might get a shot away here. Bitar needed the save. Tristan Borges. And there he has magic in that left foot. And he influenced the outcome in Langley. Borges. Oh, it's a free header for Terran Campbell. And the closer it gets, the more Vancouver FC must believe that winless run is coming to an end. Too close to the goalkeeper. They were adding to that presence they've already got in the penalty area, particularly on set pieces, and quite frankly, full trick out of ideas in the run of play, so set pieces might be the way. Becker certainly hopes so. First time outside of the boot. Becker towards the back post. Who's there? James. Irving saw it coming. Pitched it cleanly. Forge helps it on. 
Little fall for Jensen on that far side. Zane bought his right foot in. And now Kane. Well wide. Not the final whistle, not quite yet. Time is up. Time is up. Yes. Trying to put the attention to the referee. Now he can smile. Now they can all smile and embrace Afshin Gopi. And his coaching staff and the fans at Langley, BC, can start the party.